I got broads in Atlanta, Chicha the lean in the family, credit cards in the scammers, hitting the licks in the bamboo, legacies. Hey, what's up YouTube? How's it going? My name is Cedric or BBMT and I am back with another video and today I'm going to show you how you can make amazing, not just good, not just normal, amazing thumbnails in Photoshop. So first of all, open up Photoshop, Photoshop CS6, yeah, whatever Photoshop you have, um, create a new document, all you have to go to is File and New, right over here, click File and New, which click File and New, you should get this transparent background right over here. And once you have that, you want to create like a background, right? So first of all, how I create my backgrounds, I put a whole bunch of like textures to it. So I'll just go to File, Place, and I find one of the textures I want to use. So I can just go to like, let's say I can just use, I'll use this one to show you how I make it. I'll just use this. So I click on Place. And then once I place it, I'll put it in the corner. And I'll make sure all the corners are even, like to the transparent background, like so. And I click the check mark. So there is one part of my background. And to add another part, I'm just gonna go back to File, Place, and add another part. So I'm just gonna File, Place, and add another part to my background. So I can add, like, hmm. I probably can add some of these cracks to it. So adding background is like basically. You gotta like see what will work. It doesn't matter what color it is, cause you can change the color at the end. Just get textures that will work out. Like you see how I ha has these cracks. Like I can use that for part of my background. It doesn't matter. Like this is like the color of this. So I can just click on the check mark right over here. And if I want to change this to black and white, all I do is click black and white right over here. And yeah. And then to merge them, so the abstract background won't be black and white. Hold Control. Hold control and click on the the um, your other background and then click control E to emerge them and now you can see that it's black and white and then if you if you want to see like the other background that you have change it over here where it says normal change it to something like linear dodge as color dodge or screen or something so I'll just change it to probably overlay and as you can see it has the cracks and with the background so it doesn't matter what color the background is just get textures and colors that you think will work with your background and then just add them to it so now you can see that I have a background with this you can add other textures you want if you want to know I got these textures from brusheasy.com brush easy to have a lot of textures brushes that you can use for your backgrounds so I can add another background right over here so I'm just gonna add this I don't have to change it to black and white it's already blue as you can see cloud the sky is blue so I can just you know put it over everything and do the same thing like I just did put it over everything click the check mark and change normal to like color dodge add or something so I just put color dodge and then and there there's part of my background so um you could change it up do whatever you want um if you want to add some more I like adding lightning so I just go back to file place and I'll add some lightning so let's see let me find some lightning that I usually use um I guess I can go with this I just add lightning like this and for lightning I advise you to do linear I think it's linear dodge add something like that but I'll show you it looks really nice and it's really easy okay as you can see that's pretty bright if you want to change it up, like change the brightness up, all you have to do is like go over here to brightness, right? And then just click on it and you can like put the brightness down, the contrast down. You can put it down wherever you want. So I might have to do it like that, but I'll change it up a little bit more for it so the thumbnail that will look better because this is the thumbnail that I'm going to use for this video. And also you can add some text. So just click on the text right here and click where you want to add it. So I can just add some right here. I could click and I could type in like amazing thumbnail or something so you could type in whatever you want as you can see it's on still thong so I couldn't really type it in because I needed to put it all caps but um, yeah edit it to what you want I got these textures from brusheasy.com so you can go ahead and check that out so if you want some textures like this but if you like this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe for more comment down below suggestions in the comment section down below subscribe for more like I said and again thanks for watching my name is Cedric or BBMT and I'm signing out peace <laughs>